my sweet friends a very warm hello to you all from your host shurma i'm so glad you chose to join me here today and this is going to be a wonderful and a very special episode wherein i'm going to share with you how to create spring flowers for a dear friend the materials which are needed today for the project are all listed over here so let's begin chapter number 1 deals with creating the background for the painting for starters i have a couple of elements with me the first one is a peach card base it is a two page card and it is 5 and 1/2 inches in all four sides the second element is a white watercolor paper which is textured watercolor effect which you see i will demonstrate it to you in just a moment the third element is a peach and pink ribbon and the fourth one is another white watercolor paper which is 4 inches by 5 inches in size and i would be creating the floral image on this particular piece of watercolor paper So here I would be showing you how I did the watercolor effect. So here I have a piece of textured paper and I've just dropped some light green watercolor on it and I'm spraying water over it. I tilt the paper here and there so that the watercolor covers the entire textured background. So that is how I created this beautiful effect. Now let's go to chapter number 2 that is painting the florals in one stroke style. So I grabbed that white watercolor piece of paper on which I have to create the florals and here is the palette for the painting. You have magenta, pink, portrait pink, mauve and white acrylic. and i have a flat brush number 6 which i'm loading with magenta on one side and pink and portrait pink on the other and this is triple loading of the brush i'm blending the colors well and that will help me to achieve good results i can add some more colors to the sides so this is all about multi loading of the brush and the style of painting is one stroke style Next I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 4 loaded with mauve and magenta and create a very loose form of a rose. Next I pick up my flat brush number 6 again and remember I had loaded it with magenta, mauve and portrait pink. So here I begin with the first layer of the petals of the first rose. Now there will be two such roses in this floral pattern i would be doing one rose on camera and the other off camera because they are more or less the same so please follow me as i try to create the spring roses now as i mentioned earlier this is a very special episode because these roses which i am creating today are dedicated to my classmate in school and a very very good friend of mine mrs soma banerji soma and i have been together in school since childhood she was very sweet gentle and kind We have spent such happy moments together in the classroom in the laboratories and also on the playground especially during the sports time We were both Leva house prefects and we enjoyed doing our respective duties during sports practice as well My friends Ashu Sudha, Usha, along with Soma, and I, we were a tight knit group of lunch buddies, and we used to enjoy sharing our tiffin boxes under the old banyan tree near the school gate. They were such carefree days for us. 
when we were in the final year in school that is the year 1984 this is what soma wrote for me in my slum book and i quote buy it in the market maybe that's a cut but friendship is invaluable and originates from the heart with warm wishes your loving soma this is a schoolhouse photograph and all those who know soma can spot her here and this is another blast from the past my friends and i had dressed up for a traditional day in school but alas time flies once we passed out from school we went to different colleges for higher education and finally when it was time for greater responsibilities in life we migrated to different cities countries and continents those days we did not have easy means of communication hence this is when we lost touch although we did manage to find each other but then it was very late dear soma saying goodbye to a friend like you is like saying goodbye to my own soul and it is just not possible so on behalf of the class of 1984 of christ church girls school in jabalpur let me tell you that we adore you to bits and you will remain in our hearts forever on that note i come back to my painting once again both my roses are done so that leads us to chapter number 3 that is creating the foliage so the palette for the foliage is here i have olive green bamboo green yellow acrylic and then of course i have white acrylic mauve and portrait pink pink and magenta i will use them sparingly but before that here i am loading my flat brush number 6 with olive green bamboo green and white so this is again triple loading of the brush and before i go on to create the foliage i've picked up my liner brush and i'm creating some stems for the roses with olive green now this particular style of painting is one stroke style and if you are new to one stroke style of painting or you would like to know more about it then i would encourage you to please visit my past videos and i would be very happy to share some of the links in the description box below and you can also click on the i button at the top right hand corner of the screen that will also lead you to some of my older videos next i go ahead and pick up olive green and a bit of bamboo green on my line a brush and i'm just painting along the edges of the roses this helps to bring the flowers to the foreground once i'm happy with the edges of the flower i go ahead and start creating the one stroke style of leaves here i have my flat brush number 6 loaded with olive green bamboo green and white i have also used a bit of magenta and yellow on the leaves which you will see in a moment there you go you see that now this particular leaf has whole lot of magenta bamboo green olive green and white on it so it creates a different color texture for the leaves the difference may not be very much visible 
but it is fascinating to see that kind of a difference in real life. Are you enjoying watching me paint the spring roses for my dear friend Soma? Do let me know in the comment box below. I would be very happy to read your thoughts and it gives me great pleasure to communicate with you. Well, here I'm trying to make more of those leaves and stems. These are very small slider leaves. And here I have used more of magenta and less of olive and white. Some more leaves. And I'm trying to place them strategically because I'm going to fussy cut out the floral image from this particular piece of paper. And then use it on the note card. Yeah, that leaf looks pretty, doesn't it? Do let me know what goes on in your mind when you watch me paint. I'm very inquisitive. Do you like what you see? Do you have your suggestions or any kind of queries? And I'm right here to help you. So jot down all your thoughts in the comment box and I would be happy to reply to all of them. All right. So once the floral pattern is ready, this is how it looks. Well, that leads us to the final chapter and that is assembling the note card. So I have these elements with me right now. The peach card base, the textured card stock with a very light green watercolor effect on it. And I have fussy cut the floral pattern out of the white watercolor paper. And I have the ribbon too. So once I put all of the elements together, this is how it looks. I went ahead and added a sentiment to the note card to give it a finished look. And yes, that's a wrap on today's project. Hope the spring flower note card does justice to the beautiful friendship I share with my dear friend. Soma. Please connect with me on my social media handles and I would be very happy to be in touch with you. Here are some of my past floral painting video tutorials. You might like them as well. And thank you so much for watching till the end. We'll be back very soon with another interesting floral painting video tutorial. Till then, do stay tuned and bye-bye.